There are a few ways of importing audio files to DaVinci Resolve and having them managed within your session. Some of those ways might be actually overwhelming a bit, like using databases and stuff. What if you have downloaded a nice sound pack and you simply just want those audio files to be there in DaVinci Resolve every time you open a new project? I'm going to show you just that in DaVinci Resolve. And for the sake of this tutorial, we'll use our cinematic sound pack events. Let's get started. So in DaVinci Resolve, I've got a brand new project. And if you're in your edit view window, go up all the way to view and click on to show power bins in case you can't see it on the left hand side. So once you've hit that, you can see the power bins here. Now in your file system browser, go and look for where you've downloaded your sound pack. So I'm going to click and drag the events sound pack all the way to the power bins. And there we go. What the power bins do is that they will keep whatever you've dropped there in between your different sessions and different projects in DaVinci Resolve. So you can now close this project and open the new one. And every time you go to your power bins, the, the files will be there. So the folder structure will be the same as in your file system. So in our case, we can just go to, I don't know, any of those um, folders and start working, you know, with them. So if you're in your loops, you can start working with your loops like this and use a tail for the ends. So yeah, this is just a really quick trick to um, show you how to work with the events pack or any sound pack really. So next time you open the DaVinci Resolve project, if you click on to show power bins, you know, whatever you have dragged in the past over here, will be there. So I hope this helps.